to talk today about technique. Give you an overall idea of what we mean by technique. We're talking about the physical ability to control the guitar. Coordination, strength of your left hand, synchronization of your picking technique. This is the physical side, not so much the musical side. We could look at it just like as in a sport. You've got skills in a sport, but you also have physical conditioning. All we're talking about here is the physical conditioning. We're going to give you a little idea of setting up the left hand properly, the right hand properly. Then we're going to do a bunch of exercises to master the coordination and synchronization of your hands. From a technique point of view, what we want to make sure we're doing is thumb in the back of the neck, flat, fingers arched, poised, close to the strings, spanning four frets. Fingers are generally arched, although the fourth finger comes down in less of an arch because of how small it is. Things that you want is you want the wrist bent, and things you don't want is you don't want your palm against the neck. So once we're set up in this position where each finger can access a fret, the thumb is flat and pushing in the back of the neck, wrist is bent, palms away from the neck. At that point, your left hand is ready to play. As far as the right hand is concerned, we're talking a little bit about the pick hold and the pick technique itself. But the details of that we're going to get into a little bit later when we're dealing with the right hand specifically. But in general, just realize that this section is trying to get your physical abilities up, your ability to control what you play. There's a surprising number of exercises that we're going to be doing that's going to give you this control. Remember that all the exercises should be played slowly and under control. If you want to gradually increase the speed, you can certainly do that as long as you don't do it at the expense of accuracy. Many people will use a metronome at this point where they can actually monitor their progress. Today they're playing the exercise at 60, tomorrow they're playing the exercise at 70, and it continues on. So one of the first things that we're going to be doing is going to be looking at pairs of fingers and how to work on some exercises to give you control of them.